Моя цель здесь. Иди ко мне. Uh, I think I'll just drop that that thing. It's a shame that um, it's not going to be. Yeah, I think that's through the other side of the wall. That's why I can't um, kill it. tell who's who sometimes. Uh, bandage will be nice. This is just so chaotic. You guys would hang back. I really do. Пришло время. Я вижу твое желание. Yeah, he's either retreated or I took him out, I'm not sure. No, I couldn't do it in time. Oh, thermite grenade, I think. I wish they'd hang back. I know I keep saying it, I shouldn't. <laughs> I don't like it when the NPCs dictate your pace. I like prefer to do it in my own terms. But... Alright, yeah, okay. I mean, might be too heavy, but... Uh, whatever. I think that was rogue, I'm not sure. You guys okay? No, don't go in. Yeah, okay, good. Твое желание скоро исполнится. Иди ко мне. All right, I need to scanners. Okay.
Ah, uh, bloodsucker. I can hear him, I just can't see him. I think there's another blood sucker. Yeah, there is. Иди ко мне. Ты обретешь то, что заслуживаешь. Nothing useful. Твоя цель здесь. Иди ко мне. Ah, uh, yeah, forget it. Yeah, not much on them. This will be interesting. Иди ко мне. Ты обретешь то, что заслуживает. Вознагражден будет только один. Твое желание скоро исполнится. Иди ко мне. I'm sorry, guys, if I hurt you. I didn't think it would be that, um, that deadly. Uh, actually, I think, yeah, he's not so keen on me now because I've hurt him. <laughs> I don't blame you. Um, you're pushing me over the stairs. Really rather you didn't. I know you're not very happy with me, but it was an accident. Lost your weapon or something? Probably a poltergeist. This is just madness. It's just so insane. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Up here. Right. Oh, dear. That's one. Where are the others? Пришло время. Я вижу твое желание. I'm just hoping they're going to sort of catch up in their own time. Probably mutants they're firing at. I'm not too sure though. Yeah, I think it's poltergeists, I think. Presumably, just keep going up. Oh. Ladders and Stalker are just a nightmare sometimes. They really are. Right, let's try and get up there this time. Okay. Are you shooting at? Can't open the door because they're uh, in the way. Come on, guys, let's get through this. This is a nightmare. <laughs> right, I take it I go through here. I don't know where to find this guy. Whoa. 
Okay, that's one down. Can't see who's who. Suddenly realize you're an enemy. Oh no, what a complete boss. I mean, I take it, I mean, to complete the game, I have to like let. Them all live. I don't know whether or not it's an option to let one of them die. I just. Anyway, I'll reload that and hopefully it goes better this time. Uh, I'm going to detach the scope for a second. I have no ammunition for the Saiga, which is a real. What a nightmare this is turning out to be. Stop walking into me. Yeah, still a bit of recoil on this. But it's definitely much improved. Ah, you might have shotgun shells. You've got a few. Um, no, I don't think I'll bother. Actually, I haven't looted the other guys, which may have had shotgun shells on them. That's something to bear in mind.
think I am going to go and look for some shotgun shells, and hopefully they'll come with me. Move out the way. Where is that coming from? That direction, surely. Just feels really clunky and clumsy at the moment. Everything's, everyone's bumping into each other. It's not, it's enjoyable, but it's, it's a bit close call at times. Sounded like it came from there. Obviously, uh, like a cloaking device. That's a really cool idea, I like that. Wrong person. Hang back for a second to uh, get. All oh, right, you're right down there. What are you doing down there? I still think I want to search a bit, but they keep on uh, getting involved in skirmishes. Mainly for ammo, really, nothing much else. Держи! 
Держи от меня! Давай, зажмем его! Эм, окей. Yeah, I remember shooting these guys from last time. I'm pretty sure that's the same people. But anyway, not much in the way of shells apart from uh, that one guy, so... Let's just go back and carry on forward. Oh, I'll take... Uh, oh, three of them. Okay, yeah. I'll take that. Might have to drop some stuff soon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, replace batteries. In fact, while I think of it, I really should check, um... See if anything needs repairing. I didn't realise. Um... Uh, my suit seems to be okay. No, it doesn't seem to be okay. It's very badly... It's 30%. Oh dear. That's gonna be expensive. Because if that can't repair it, then nothing can on me. Well, I suppose the next best thing I can do is to... keep the weapons in good order. I must have taken some pretty heavy damage there. Ah, does this... No, I don't think this will do it, will it? No. Maybe an advanced sewing kit might, but... I'm not so sure. I'm finding a few um, stim packs, which is uh, very useful. Ah, I saw a. Yeah. Uh, go on then. Actually, I don't know if it's going to work, but, but maybe one of them can repair my suit. I'll give it a whirl. Oh. Let's just drop one of those for now. Um... Repair my stuff. That. Repair. Not enough money. Oh dear. And of course, I can't sell any anything to them, so I've got to wait until I get back, and then by then it's going to be in worse condition still.
Uh, shotgun shells. Certainly a few killed here. I think that's... I'll take the PDA. Oh, wow. I had no idea that was just about to happen. Yeah, I don't know where that guy... I guess he just came round the corner, but... It's still quite a long way for him to walk. I mean, where... Why did they not take him down in time? I don't know. Yeah, matches and patches. I'm even leaving the water now, and that's really saying something. Uh, is that an RPK? But it's probably going to start jamming like straight away, so I'll leave it. Sure, what that was probably just uh, our personal journal. I think that's a really good design, actually. I like that. Very, uh, very good idea. I will take that. I might have to drop something. But that means I've got three. It looks to be clear in this room. So let's check the PDA. Uh, defeat the Phantom Guard. 
and find the shard of the monolith, which I imagine is um, through there, through there somewhere. Okay, let's go through and try and find this uh, item. It's only buckshot, but uh, at least I've got more of them. Well, it can't be up there, surely, because that's going to leave me outside. So I obviously haven't been very thorough. Find the shard of the monolith. Ah, there it is. New mission, Living Legend Answers. I mean, I haven't got a HDR monitor, but um, I'm getting an idea of what it's like. <laughs> um, you have obtained a shard of the monolith. The time for answers has come. How heavy is that thing then? I take it it's like a some sort of an artifact. Yeah, like a um, like this one where it doesn't do anything. Uh, this object was, according to legends, split from the wish granter itself. Displays properties not unlike an artifact. It crackles with unnerving energy and may boost insidious powers that aren't immediately apparent. All right, Strelok, I've done what you wanted. Take the shard. Your answers or mine. Very well. I'm grateful for your help. Ask and I'll do my best to answer. What exactly is the zone? What do you know about emissions? What do you know about anomalies? What do you know about mutants? Uh, what exactly is the zone then? Let's do it in order. Uh, the zone is neither a miracle nor a manifestation of evil. It isn't a natural phenomenon either. Over ten years ago, a group of scientists conducted a secret experiment. They discovered that a mysterious psychic field called the Noosphere enveloped the Earth. Okay, I've just turned down my own um, headphone volume because I can't bear trying to speak over that. Um, background uh, voice. Okay, so they thought that by influencing the field they could influence the world's population. They wanted to remove violence and selfishness from people's minds. No single person could achieve that, so they joined their minds to become common consciousness. Wired to a set of extremely powerful generators, predictably things went awry and the experiment caused a rift in the noosphere. Emanations, or rather the first emission of uncontrolled psychic energy, created the zone. Who or what were the common consciousness? They were a coterie of overly ambitious scientists. They thought they could fix humanity by exploiting something they barely understood. They didn't know it, but they were paving their own road into hell. In order to achieve their goal of saving humanity, they turn themselves into an artificial hive mind. They accidentally created the zone. 
They were responsible for Emissions, The Miracle Machine, Brain Scorcher, Zombies and The Monolith. Which were all part of the defense network. And they were the ones who placed the Wish Granter in inside the sarcophagus. I had a chance to kill them, so I did. What is the true nature of the Wish Granter? The Wish Granter, also known as the Monolith, is a sham. It was made to lure naive stalkers into the heart of the zone so that the sea consciousness could seize, brainwash, and turn them into its obedient soldiers. I saw it with my own eyes, and I'm not sure, but I may have wished for something. I don't remember. My memories are still hazy. I was able to resist its call when I came back here in 2012, and I don't want to confront it ever again. But I was curious if the psychic backlash after the death of the sea consciousness had any effect on it. Then I heard the rumours about the Shard of the Monolith. So what kind of artefact is it? Uh, that's somewhat self-explanatory. Legends say that when the sea consciousness died, the wish granter was damaged, a part of it broke off. Some stalker visited the MPP in the aftermath and found the shard. Clearly, his snooping incurred the wrath of monolith forces, returning to secure the power plant again. And he had to escape quickly, leaving the shard behind to discourage pursuit. Although sounding... I'm not sure I can say that. Apocryphal? I'll have to look that word up. Story spread quickly. I knew that it could at least be partly true, so I wanted to investigate. The shard might hold answers that n no old document could reveal. Uh, so what do you know about emissions? The rift in the neurosphere which produced the zone as we know it today overflows with excess psychic energy. This energy is what forms emissions, like how water vapour can condense into a thunderstorm. The energy used to be controlled and discharged deliberately, but without the guidance of the sea consciousness, it simply builds up until it overflows in a wave across the entire zone. Instead of rare but devastating emissions that were supposed to eliminate a specific threat, nowadays we get relatively weak but frequent emissions that sweep and kill indiscriminately. I'm not sure that's a fair trade. What do we know about anomalies? There are miniature cracks in the noosphere, or small patches of reality affected by psychic energies so strong that they bend the laws of physics. I'm not entirely sure. Each time an emission occurs, old anomalies shift or disappear while new ones emerge, and the artifacts, many of them used to be normal objects, are of or are a collection of normal objects changed by those incompre incomprehensible energies. Sometimes I think they're born from the wishes of local stalkers, although it's possible they're shaped by the fears, insecurities and desires of humanity across the world. What do you know about mutants? Don't be fooled by the theories that they're the result of radiation. The dogs and cats may be. Others, chimeras, controllers, viewers, pseudo-giants, even fleshes, most of them are actually man-made. The scientists who later became the Sea Consciousness conducted many experiments in their underground labs. Not just in genetic, but ones that involved the psychic energies of the noosphere. This means that the, that the mutants possess a strong connection to the zone. Like emissions, they're one of the many defense mechanisms that protects its secrets. So back when everyone called you the Marked One, you collaborated with Sidorovich and Barkeep. Why didn't you return to them? I reached the MPP. I saw the monolith. I talked to the sea consciousness and then after an extremely difficult battle, I killed them. Experience left me exhausted and empty. I'm not sure what happened right afterward. I was wandering the zone center for some time, though I can't tell for how long. And I helped the remnants of a military operation in Pripyat. They recruited me as an advisor for a while, but ultimately I couldn't resist the zone's call. And I abandoned them later. Questions and doubts still plague me. 
I was too busy trying to find the answers. So that's a lot to process. This, this definitely changes my perspective on many things. All I can offer you is this fragmentary knowledge. Secret documents, abandoned underground laboratories, complex devices, personal experience and observations. The zone isn't and will never be easy to understand. We're like the first cavemen who scraped two stones together, sorry, two, two stones against each other and accidentally kindled a blaze. We aren't sure what happened and what we're looking at while, while the fire's spreading, assuming everything around it. Thanks, this is possibly more than I could have hoped for. I'll return to my base. What about you? I've got a goal that moves away from the from me the further I manage to progress. There are some secrets to discover beyond even the MPP, and plenty of uncharted areas that may reveal even more, or produce even more questions, who knows. I'm not sure it's worth all the lives that have been lost on the way there, and I may never be. I know a few people in the Rookie Village who won't be happy about the wish grant, wish grant of being a flytrap, but it's better that they won't try to reach the NPP at all, and Sidorovich will finally get some answers too. This revelation's been definitely long overdue. We don't need any more monolith soldiers than we already get, especially one such as Eidolon. They are either there are either much less dangerous aspects of the zone they can exploit if they're so really desperate for personal gain. Or an adventure Strelok, don't forget about that. Not all of us are obsessed treasure hunters. Oh, I dunno, maybe I am. We set the place the place ablaze, so we might as well sit down, warm our hands, and tell a few stories, right? New mission, Living Legend Finish. See you, Strelok. Alright, so I'm on my own again. Return to Sidorovich to report your success, and I shall do that in the next recording session because I found this one very good but quite draining, so... Uh, I'm just going to stop there, I think. Um, let's have a look. Got a cola box. Uh, which looks to be like a mid-range kind of at best artifact. Messages. Got Strelok's pen drive, cola box. Shard of the monolith has been lost. And Clear Sky are happy about it, as are the loners. Okay. I think I will have a celebratory uh, bite to eat. And make my way back to Sidorovich. And that's where I will pick up the next recording session. I get the feeling I'm either very, very close to the end. Maybe I should do it now, actually. If anyone's got this far and then suddenly clicks off. <laughs> uh, I apologise in advance, but... Um, I can always edit out the words, I guess. The thing is, can I actually fast travel there with all these rats around me? No, I can't. I have some information to sell, which may be PDAs. All right. Ah, oh, shortcut through the Red Forest, okay. A uh, long time no see. So you finally come back, unlike a certain someone. Did you meet the marked one? I sure did. Even joined his team for a while. We. He told me many things, and I saw a lot with my own eyes too. I was in the sarcophagus with him. Turns out the Wish Granter is a flytrap for naive stalkers. 
Yes, it does exist, but only to lure people into the heart of the zone, so they can be brainwashed and become zombies or monolithians. Not a dream, but a damn nightmare, so it's another defense mechanism, really, like the, um... Like some of the mutants and the monolith are. I see. Sounds about right. There must have been a reason no stalker has suddenly become the most powerful or the wealthiest man on the planet yet. It'll be easier to discourage rookies from that bullshit with actual proof to back this up. Because you've got some proof, stalker, right? Yeah, not just my words. Strelok gave me a pen drive with a lot of encrypted data. Copy of his findings are here. Excellent job, Stalker. You managed to finish what the Marked One had started a few years ago. The Brain Scorcher in it is inactive again, so we can access the North, and now we know that the Wish Granter is bait. By the way, here's a reward for you. 30,000. I assume the story goes on. Uh, so people are talking about some dark stalker from an unknown faction. Apparently he's preaching about the zone on and on. Have you heard of him? Yes, not sure if this is what you had in mind, but here's but th there's this nutcase hanging around the village. He appeared out of thin air and then started pestering stalkers at campfires about some religious bull. Something about the greatness of the zone. He also wants people to join his organisation, whatever it is. Most stalkers tell him to sod off, but some did accept his offer. I don't want any more rookies to become members of some sort of sect and vanish without a trace, so why don't you take care of this guy? Yes, try to find out... Try to find out more about his faction. Then we can arrange an accident for him. You know, there's a field of gravitational anomalies not far from here, and hungry mutants roam the area all the time. Mortal Sin, Mysterious Envoy. That's just standard missions which aren't really that interesting to me at the moment. So, is that a main mission, or is it, um, it would appear so. Right, so in theory, Trapper, uh, yeah, are you, you going to pay me? Alright, so the job is done, okay. Must have been one of the guys we shot on the way to the, uh, uh find the shard. My thousand, okay. No. I'll just check the... Chemical resistance is pretty good. Health restoration is nice. But... Uh, what the... Hell? I can only assume that was freedom. Oh, that's the package. I think that, actually, that mission, didn't that, um... Oh! Good God. How can you see me through a wall?
Alright, so... Um... Yeah, the job is done, which was the... I think the... Is it Chimera Horn or something? Oh, it might be just as cost effective to have it up, have it repaired. 23 grand, I imagine that's the one I need. Light assault vest. Oh, maybe that'll be cheaper then. Uh, light armor repair kit. Okay, I'll try that. Oh. Yeah, I want to buy some equipment. So it's this. I didn't think it would be because that says light assault suit. But yeah, duty light assault vest. But anyway, let's hopefully repair it. And again. Yeah, I think I will pause it there. I'm going to get some ammunition and sort my gear out another time. It's very late. And um, I think the next time what I'm going to do, I'll start off by going to Sakharov. I've got some stuff here I could sell. I've got quite... Oh, I keep pressing the wrong key. Like this stuff that I got from the Chimera that wasn't part of the mission. I could sell that. Um, get some ammunition, sell some of these artifacts that I don't need. Um, I'm just pleased to have repaired that though. Uh, and then take it from there. So, uh, a lot was achieved in this recording session, probably the most actually, since I've started playing the mod. So, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I will speak to you once again next time.